I, I got right on right. it. Hello. Hello. Well, the volume was down. All right. Well, welcome uh, back uh, to the Midwest Sports Show. Uh huh. Where yeah. you're not going to hear about Bruce Arians telling Jameis Winston he's got to be better. Where, where he's right? telling his players to stop crapping your pants. Oh, yeah. Did he say no, that? Uh, no, no pants crapping mm. on this ship. All right. Well, welcome back. Uh, my name is uh, Chris Dotz. And Hello, then, uh, that's uh, Gene Steichen mm. with us, as always. Yeah. And uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show. Oh. And uh, we talk about Midwest sports here on the show. Mm. Is, is no there, shocker there. Is there a lot of sports in the Midwest that needs our attention normally? Why would Well, Gene, yes? after watching uh well by the way, Gene. Yeah. You know, we'll take, we we'll be talking about the uh Chicago uh, Milwaukee series oh, um this past weekend. Mm. Uh which I think, by the way, is probably the best rivalry it was great. in it's... Major League Baseball going on right now. Oh yeah. We're in all games, it looked like they're all sold out. But what was what was on ESPN? Oh, last well, night, Yankees, I Yankees, don't know. Red Sox. Oh, my God. Gosh, where the Yankees were outscored 50 runs, I think, like in uh, three games. They uh, ESPN, they always fought for that. Yankees. I, I, I know we're all about narratives and storylines and all that right. stuff. But how, how about some baseball? Huh? How about how about Cubs Brewers? That's right now. Uh, Wisconsin. The wheelhouse. Yeah. Run the Bernie the Brewer. So. Mm. Uh, we'll be talking about all that. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, oh, the look was, ahead. It was a Rod or Aaron, yeah, a Rod's birthday, birthday, so they had to be in New York. So J Lo went up to fly to Milwaukee to give him a stupid cake. <laughs> yeah, was that J Lo's uh, like da- daughters too? By the way, I only uh, saw a pro- picture of this. I don't know. I guess I don't know. I didn't know she has kids. I don't she, know. Much. Oh, he has daughters though, right? Oh, yeah, probably. He, he, she didn't have any kids with Mark Anthony. Maybe I'm not sure. I know she just turned fifty. That's about all. Yeah, uh, the cake and was a giant ass. By the way, oh really? A giant ass. Mm. That's that's the cake I want from yeah. uh from J Lo. Mm. All right. Well, this. Oh is... yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Good one. Cause she, Thank well, you. <laughs> I was a little slow on that. Man, one. As, as, Good one. Has uh, time um, passed so much that we forgot J Lo has a giant ass? Yeah. A big ass. I I would not. I mean, she's on tour and. She could offer me her and Mariah Carey. You, I, you could give me a front row seats and, and uh, I don't know. And what, you, you pay a lot. You pay overpriced. You could pay. You could pay me a lot of money, and I still wouldn't go to those shows. <laughs> and Gene, you know, again, I we say it all the time. Jennifer Lopez, at one point, I think it was in the early aughts, was the hottest woman mm. on earth. Ooh. And uh, time is not uh, well. I mean, you know, time, t- time makes ravages I, I just, of us all. I just think ravages I don't, I don't us know. all. I don't think she. I I wouldn't. There's certain women like I want to see Madonna when she comes to L.A. Let's if we could lower the ticket price. But yeah, Madonna. Just, I know you're big into dancing and yeah. exercising and oh all that stuff. Gosh. But you could probably uh, gain a few pounds. Oh, because right. I I went to '80s weekend. Sat, I I saw Vanilla Ice in concert. Of all people, he wasn't the only one. They had a bunch of '80s bands, and then he ended up closing the show. I never thought I'd be in the same place where Vanilla Ice was on stage. I've avoided that my whole life, but it finally well, caught up. You go to enough concerts, he's gonna sneak into <laughs> one of them. And then yeah, no he, choice. Yeah, then he, he. I was like, well, I know he's got Ice Ice Baby. What else is there? Well, I guess he had a song in the Ninja Turtle, so he brought what? out a Ninja Turtle. And then what he did. What was that song? I don't no, know. No, go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah he you did go. that. Damn. And then he did uh, one which he he did a cover version of another one. So, well, all all of his songs are cover versions of other people's work, Oh, yeah, right? yeah, I think so. And uh, did, 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 did he rap uh, hanging upside down from a railing at all? <laughs> was Suge Knight? Suge Knight. Was Suge yeah. Knight there? Suge Knight's in the big house. He Jeez. wasn't there. But he invited a bunch of people. He said, uh, uh, any audience member that wants to come up on stage, join him. So he had quite a few people up there, and they, they were just throwing <laughs> their drinks on him. It was really funny. Gene, you know, yeah. I, I'm not a lawyer, Gene. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know anything about contracts or anything right. like that, but I'm pretty sure that if you sign a contract upside down yeah. over, over a balcony, oh, I, see. I think that contract's null and void, right? Right. right. I mean, yeah. I, how how does that work? Like, yeah, yeah these guys are going to kill you, but then after you're done, don't you call the yeah. police? I guess so. And then have that contract. And by the way, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the record company that owns the guy's work, right? So they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Suge Knight just uh, showed us this paperwork. Oh, We're going to deposit the royalties into his oh, account? Oh, my gosh. How does that work? I don't know. 
but he's he's still performing, and Suge Knight's doing a thirty-year bit, twenty years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know enough to call it bit, but he's in the big house for a while. I never get on there. She still is, and she has twins with Mark Anthony. Love them both. Plus oh, the Yankees lad from wow, Lydia. thank you, Lydia. Lydia, thank right. you. That's very that. nice of you. She, oh, she has twins from Mark twins. Anthony, who I would not to just to show that I, I, I'm not discriminating. I would not pay. You couldn't pay me enough to go to Mark Anthony concert either. So there. Well, Gene, and I go to a lot of concerts. You, you don't even know Spanish, so that's not. Uh... Oh, I'd say I'd say Julio Iglesias, senior, not junior. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe right. uh, well, maybe those girls them. will be crooning, shaking their asses uh, mm. on concert in no time. I'd see Gwen Stefani. I'd see her. I'd see Lady Gaga, and I'd see Madonna. Yep. All right, there you go. That's yeah. the uh, Mount Rushmore of uh, Gene Steichen. Well, uh, for people. female, I'm seeing Joan Jett and Hart together, so that's gonna be oh, yeah. pretty cool. That's she, she did Rocky Road. Is that right? Or no, uh, Rock and Roll. I love Rock and Roll. Yeah, that's a cover. That's I think the that's Weird Al, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, Gene, this show is not, uh, oh, yes. hey, remember the 80s. Oh, okay, not only remember, I saw Into the Woods, a Broadway show, and then I saw Miss Sagan as well. So there you go. All right. You got caught Into up the Woods there. is kind of like a uh, Hansel and Gretel. Yes, no, no, like a, no, Wow, no, no, look um, at you knowing that. No, Stephen Sondheim. Yeah, but no, it's uh, Grimm's, yeah, they, Grimm's they, Fairy Tales, right? Right, right. Musicalized. They, set in the uh, woods, yep. And they had a celebrity cast. They performed at the Hollywood Bowl. It was really cool. The kid from Stranger Things was Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The kid was missing his feet. I, I, I've not, I seen, know, that I know, not seen that I know. Show, so. I know. I think his name's <laughs> Dustin. All right. Well, Gene, yeah, uh, we're, if you know that we, one, we got too. a lot of uh, lot of oh, okay. lot of NFL news. Yeah. Uh, this week too. A lot, a lot it's of nice great stories. that football's back. Really, there's a game Saturday. Yeah. So apparently, there's going to be a football game uh, every Last week. Last year, it would have been at the Bears in the Hall of Fame game. This year, I think isn't it the Colts and somebody. Yeah. I, 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 I have no know. idea. Uh. No idea. And then, uh, Gene, we had it last week, and I thought we would bring it back uh, again this week. We have oh. worst state of the week. I think Iowa finished second More last week, didn't they? No, they're number one. Oh, okay. Because well, uh, the, the University of Iowa canceled, or maybe it was Iowa State. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. uh, what do you call it? Uh, fired. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Tupac, a big right. Tupac fan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, If Suge Knight was still uh, out free, a free man. Yeah. I, I think some of those administrators would be uh, have, have singing a different tune. Right? Yeah. Well, uh, Iowa gets a bye this week because you can't win two weeks in a row. Yep. Isn't that the case? It's no, it's not going to be Iowa this week. Oh, I can, thank uh, I, don't, I don't want to tease it too much. All right. Or I don't want to spoil okay. it, but, yeah, it's not going to be right. Iowa. Okay. You cannot win it consecutive weeks yeah. in a row unless you're really bad. Okay. Unless you're uh, Michigan. Mm. All right. All right, but, yeah. Gene, we're going to start off. With uh, the Chicago versus uh, the Chicago Cubs versus the Milwaukee Brewers, I watched uh, every pitch, game. and that was painful. Those are the Cubs. This road trip, they've had, they've lost four times, and they're the four. I've never remember. I've been watching them my whole life. I, I, these are the four most painful losses in a short span. I'll tell you what, Gene. Uh, nothing uh, like uh, Chicago Cubs versus Milwaukee Brewers right. uh, gets me excited, especially a weekend series. I, I know. Was, it was like Big almost crowd. watching a Packer game, almost. It was it was festive. A lot of Cub fans, and of course, a lot of. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Speaking of that, I I didn't. There w- it was uh, not quite as much Cubs fans as that uh, normally. Normally, it's like 80 percent. Yeah, but it seemed like g- hey, way to it was step pretty up. Pretty even. For, yeah, pr- the, the birds are way to step up. I mean, don't let don't let the other team just in, walk in and take over your place, right? Yep. Way to hold your ground. Oh, those way to losses. bear down. Yeah, you might even say. Yeah, bear down. And uh, you actually could not hear people boo Ryan Braun finally. Mm. So uh, progress, I guess. I don't huh? like Ryan Braun to be quite honest. But Cubs, he, he had a terrible series. He the had a the bad Cubs hits, were but... leading in all the games. And all right, it, so let's let's we'll go through these uh, okay. one by one. Okay. Friday's game, painful. Gio Gonzalez, yeah, uh, was pitching. And he was he, good. Uh, He's man. They got him for nothing. He, too. he, he had a no hitter until the sixth inning. Ooh. And then was it uh, was it Baez or something like that or I, I don't remember but oh, uh, they finally uh, did get a hit. Or maybe yeah. it was uh, Rizzo or something like that. And uh, yeah, he uh, struck Rizzo. out the first batter and uh, had cheers. People were actually cheering. Mm. Uh, one of the Cubs striking out. Contre- By the way, Contreras. Yeah, is your leadoff guy? 
Uh, the Cubs are they're they're in a little bit of a, a desperation situation going on there. Yeah, you gotta put the gotta put well, the catcher. Was, in. It was it was Schwarber who had seven RBI yesterday. It showed you our best power hitter should not be leading off very low on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's him. how desperate the let's Cubs are. Get him are. number one. Yeah, and Cubs uh, have a lead off. Oh yeah, so then uh, yeah, so Gio had a no hitter into the sixth, but then I think he he walked someone, and then uh, Boti. This guy who's been Bode. really struggling, David Bode, Bode. hits a two run home run just yeah. like that, and all of a sudden it's two zero. Yeah, not that great. I uh, I felt good. Oh my gosh, they took Kyle Hendricks out. Everything was perfect, but when Strope came into the game, I'm telling you, it's not well, hindsight. I was like, okay, it was it was someone else first, right, and then uh, Strope mm. because they basically walked like three guys right in a row, uh. and uh, then they bring Strope in. He should and uh, he, uh, oh my proceeded to give up. Uh, what was it like a? Was it, oh yeah, gamble. I think right. Yeah, yeah man, see, I should take better yeah. notes. But uh, Strope gives up gives up a two run hit to Gamble. And let me ask you something, Gene. Yeah. At, at what point, you know, do you do you when you give when you lose a game when you give up a save? Mm. Do you do you turn that hat around when you walk back into the <laughs> uh, dugout? Or that, I, you should see the Cubs comment. You think the best fans of baseball Cardinals are mad? Man, the Cubs are so mad because Strope's been terrible all year. He's blown, I think, six saves, and he's not even the closer. He's blown three yeah. saves since the All Star break. He's not. He's a setup guy, and he's blown three saves. And then people are like, "Oh, then that hat." Ooh. Yeah, it's it's it's. Oh, listen, and, every and everything's just, uh, good and jolly, good good and dandy. Yeah, when you're uh, winning games and uh, you know striking people out, but uh, you know you start giving up hits. Let's oh. uh, let's turn that. Let's cock that hat. Yeah, let's get it back to oh my twelve God. o'clock, huh? It's stroke. Oh, he's not good. A, it's been a nightmare with him. This not year. good. Oh, terrible. And then, by the way, how much longer? I mean, is he going to be doing that when he's thirty nine years old? I don't know. With this, the fucking hat, I, I have a feeling his contract's up, and I have a feeling there's not going to be a renewal offer in the mail for him. No, th- what no if, thanks. What if his next team has stipulates that he needs to wear his hat I, at twelve uh, o'clock? I, yeah, if he goes, to if you can sign. I, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just not going to work I in the Yankees, I, buddy. I don't know. He doesn't. Ooh, that was rough. All right, and then uh, that was a tough one. And then I think uh, on the in, on the top of the so they so the Brewers take the go ahead lead on the yeah. bottom of the eighth, top of the ninth. I believe uh, someone got walked, right? And then Javi was uh, up at bat. Could have been was batting. I do believe. And then uh, Javi struck out, mm-hmm. uh, as he's prone to do. Quite and a bit. Uh, second in the majors. Great, I think. great shot of uh, a Brewer fan flying the L. <laughs> wow, flying the L. Did you see I that? No, I maybe didn't. you're watching the Cubs broadcast. I, but I, uh, yeah, these I Cubs didn't. fans are always flying the W. Right. How about we fly the L? Huh? Uh, that's not very nice. How about we do that? That's not very neighborly. Neighbor. Yep. Wow. All right. Then game two. Again, Painful. again, another pitching duel. Uh, but Rizzo hits a two-run home run, kind of yeah. in the middle of the game. And then once again, we get to the eighth inning. Well, John Lester, he was great. Is just uh, mowing everyone down. I know. And he was only at ninety-four pitches. Yeah, and I thought he was going to go one twenty, but and uh, yeah, because didn't they do that like last time? Didn't yeah. he like pitch one twenty last time? I think that I th- normally he would have went one twenty. I think. Yeah, and then uh, so Madden pulls John Lester uh, after seven innings, ninety-four pitches, and of course the uh, bull bullpen implodes. Joke. And uh, we gotta watch. Uh, <laughs> we gotta watch Madden's overwrought pitching style. I, I, oh I had flashbacks God. of Tony Larusa. It was awful. Four pitchers, four yeah. pitchers in the inning didn't really work out. John. Yeah. Joe. Joe. Didn't really work out, Joe. <laughs> and uh, and then Strop gives up the lead again. And then uh, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, and then and then uh, so then it gets to uh, extra innings, right? Yeah, the tenth wasn't it the tenth inning? Think, yeah. So the Brewers Almora. tie it up, and then I yeah. think some like I think maybe Grandel like ran the bases poorly, something like something like the pack, right. uh, base of the Brewers screwed oh, up. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember it right. And then uh, right. it's top of the tenth. Almora hits a home run, which is pretty rare for him. He's not really. It's, it's uh, a booming home run, and then yeah. all of a sudden it looks like uh, Cubs may be I able go, to steal right, a game. Now we're talking. Now we got something. Let's just close up shop here. Let's br- uh, let's bring K- on Kimbrel, Kimbrel, our forty million dollar man. Yep. Uh, Yelich gets a hit, and then uh, Kesson Herrera. Herrera. Oh my gosh! And uh, you've heard me talk about him before, but uh, you finally get to feel the sting of Keston. Mm. 
And uh, now you maybe know why uh, this guy was basically untouchable in the uh, Brewers uh, minor league system. The guy's had 10 home. He's probably going to be rookie of the year. Yeah. He keeps on doing it. And, uh, yeah, so here uh, hits a uh, walk-off home run off Krimble, yeah. Kimble, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, Gene, lots of uh, lots of shots of Theo. Oh, I saw up that. Up in the booth. I, he, that had to be one of the most painful shots. He was in the booth. Uh, yeah, that didn't look good uh, up like, there. Listen, I, I, uh, I'm totally for watching uh, Theo's right. uh, Schodenfraud, Schodenfreud. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I mean, come on. Let's, let's cut him some slack. He's not on the field. I know playing, he's up there you know just I mean? trying to do his job. Oh my god! I mean, they don't have any more money, so like, what was he supposed to do? I it was awful. And Kimbrough, man, he's oh he's been rough so far. His ERA is almost seven. Yeah, it's not good. Yep. Uh, so I don't know. That's all right. And then so another great win by the Milwaukee Brewers. Game three, looking for a sweep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Schwarber no. hits a grand slam yeah, in the first inning. Yeah, they moved him from leadoff man to number eight in the order. Yeah. Yep. It was the first inning. Maybe it was the second inning. Second. Yeah, hits a grand slam. And then the Brewers uh, proceed to uh, w- w- and then what? I think there's like another three-run home was, run. Yeah, by Schwarber. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah Schwarber's, a, yeah, Schwarber's then, a three-run home run. Yeah, yeah. And then it looks like the Brewers right. are going to come storming back. They well, get three runs. Quintana only needed one out to qualify for the save or the win, and he couldn't get out of the inning, and they were close to it. Looked, he was, yeah, they, they pulled him on them. the fifth inning. Yeah, so the guy that came in got one out and got the win. Quintana, ah, that's his own fault. Yeah, no. and then, uh, yeah, but again, uh, you know, Brewers are only down by four. But then, uh, yeah, the Chicago Cubs, I think, get like another yeah. big home run. So or something it's like that. the same so thing that. with the Giants. The Cubs outscored the Giants in the series, and they outscored the Brewers, yet they lost two out of three in both series. Yeah. That's the way it's been going. No thanks. And then it, oh, well. Hopefully we'll play better. Yep. So two Taylor. out of one, and uh, uh, so uh, yeah, Gene. What was uh, what's what was the chatter today mm. on the uh, Chicago sports scene? I, I mean, well, I uh, listened to a lot of ESPN Joe, Chicago. Joe Madden had a couple of questionable yeah. uh, managing, really, managerial really, decisions. He if he, he's he's definitely because uh, they didn't extend him, but he's definitely managing for his career. Uh, I he's, think, he's for gonna, his Cubs career. He's going to move on. He's, uh, he's he'll get another job he's right, right away, but. Yeah, the bullpen stuff was. Oh, he got crushed. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, National League Central. Mm. Let's see what we got here. So St. Louis played Houston this weekend, and I think what lost two out of three. Yeah. Right? Thank goodness. So, Thank you, Houston. So them and the Chicago Cubs are tied right now. Yeah. Four, Fifty-six and forty-nine, even wow. split there. And then uh, Milwaukee is one game behind, fifty-six to fifty-one. Fifty-one. F- I'm sorry, fifty-six yeah. and fifty-one. And all those teams are idle, I think, or St. Louis playing yep. today. Yeah, no, St. Louis is off. Yep, St. Louis today. Yeah, and then tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, the Brewers play in Oakland. Oh, wow. You guys so there you go. Out here. Oakland's good, too. I should uh, take a trip. Just take yeah, a trip up there. Oakland's good, and the Cubs are at St. Louis. And then, oh, you're Louis. only going to Oakland for three games, and then you got to come back and play in Chicago. That's odd. No, it's four games. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 you're right. Three games. Sorry about that. Yeah, then we got another weekend series in Chicago. So uh, we'll see Watch the, out. See if the Cubs can uh, get some payback. Can. They will. Yep. And I then, just uh, hope the Cubs, last time they played in St. Louis, they got swept. Cubs, Cubs got, and Cardinals. So. The Cubs have the worst record in the National League on the road, and they're tied, I think, with the Orioles in Kansas City for worst. I, I just can't believe how they can't get it together on the road. And you, so. well, hey, don't worry, Gene. You got you, Darvish, taking the mound. Oh, I, 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 I'm I'm riding with you. <laughs> oh, he's pitching pretty good lately. Okay, so, all right. So he still uh, only got two wins on the year. Any uh, any predictions against? Uh, yeah, is it three game or four? It's three, three games, games, right? I I think the Cubs are going to win uh, two out of three. I just I I have nothing to base it on. They every series they haven't won a series on the road since May. So it, I, I'm Is that gonna good? say it's not good. No, the Cubs have not won a series on the road since May, m- mid May. Yeah, May 15th. Oh my God, you you have to play in the playoffs on the road, right? Do I they, yeah, the Cubs. Uh, yeah, especially coming out of the Central. Yes, you do. No, I'm 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 gonna say this is a series. They, oh please, win. <laughs> Come three. back. Stick well, it. you got you, yeah, you Darvish. Yeah, I'm a, I, to he's rally the troops. Been pitching pretty good. So all right. Don't pitch Strope and let you have a good – yeah. And, and don't then, put uh, Kyle back at the number one. Keep him down the order. 
And then this is kind of breaking news, oh, but okay. the uh, the Brewers did trade for uh, uh, Lyles Lyles today. Oh, uh, from Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, the pitcher was it Pittsburgh? Yeah, right. He's not very good, but well, he has a pitch well lately. Yeah, but no, no, the uh, yeah, the yeah, it was the Bucking uh, yeah. the Bucks. They're saying the Bucks. I'm thinking that's the Buccaneers, but it was the Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Kind of weird of a uh, interdivisional trade, but oh well, yeah. I guess uh, Pirates don't think they're going to be doing anything. So Jordan Lyles. But, yeah, so uh, David Stearns, the GM for the Milwaukee Brewers, He's said great. that he thinks uh, Lyles has some better games ahead of him. And his stuff is good. He's just uh, had a bit, bit of a funk. I'll tell you one bit thing. Of a funk. The Brewers, they got great announcers, and uh, the GM, is he's awesome. Pretty great. Yep. All right. Yeah. Well, Matt LaPay was uh, doing the announcing on uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday. So, Oh, was Brian Anderson there Friday? He, he was probably doing, like, the national Fox game or something oh, like okay. that. So that's what yeah. I can imagine. So. All right, so there you go. I Base- always watch with the sound down because it's hard enough watching the Cubs lose, but I can't watch with the, the home team roaring. So I always keep the sound off. <laughs> Unless they win, then I'll rewatch with the sound off. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You got a lot of time. When you're I, I had too much, these losses are just – they're starting to get the best of me. It's not good for <laughs> my overall nuts, well-being. Yeah. All right, so uh, from baseball, we're going to talk to uh, NFL. Some uh, NFL news, Gene. Let's, yeah, let's talk about some yeah, fun sports yeah, yeah. Where, the, where the money is. Oh. Uh, and uh, quite a lot of bit of news uh, going on. Uh, it's not only the temperature that's heating up, Chain. It's the mm. uh, NFL season is uh, I've been right watching upon a lot us. of NFL Network where they just go to training camp, and you just pretty cool, yep. pretty great. Well, uh, probably maybe one of the bigger stories uh, this week is uh, Packers release Mike Daniels. That's terrible. He's uh, an Iowa guy too. He yep. a University of Iowa, and he's had a great career. Well, he's been pretty good. He wasn't great last year. Okay, then. he was. I think, but he, I think right. he was injured. So uh, again, this kind of follows a pattern for the Packers, where you cut your losses early. Yeah, and uh, seems like that's uh, what happened. And uh, like just like other Packers, he signs with the Detroit Lions. Wow. So they must think... going across the border, right, or the lake. I don't like that. I think he, well, we'll see how good I. Well, he's a Hawkeye. He'll bounce back, but I don't. Want him to a defensive be, end I, who I don't like Detroit. A so. defensive end who has played his entire seven-year career with the Packers. Um, Daniel said Matt Patricia coaches the way Daniels wants to be coached. Oh gosh! And he's Decent. now glad he got cut because he sees Detroit as the perfect place for him. Mm. Coach Patricia Daniels said he's a genius. Wow. Uh, yeah, but uh, but Mike. I mean, Barry Sanders was a genius, right? It right. Do, doesn't matter. You, you're you're playing for the Lions, right? Do, that trumps everything. That yeah, and you don't use that word lightly, right? Yeah. Any any sentence with uh, Sir Trump's name in it. Mm-mm. By the way, didn't, didn't didn't Patricia like lose a Super Bowl or something like that, or didn't uh, the Patriots like jettison him yeah. after a Super Bowl loss? Well, or something like that. he got another job, but yeah, yeah, he, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just saying, Mike, uh, grass is always greener. Oh, that's too what. bad. It would have been great to just stay with the Packers all the time, but good luck. Not not good luck because I, I don't want Detroit to win any games. Yeah, just uh, go easy on Aaron Rodgers, okay? All yeah. right, Mike? Yeah. All right. All right, and then uh, Golden Tate. These guys are terrible. And former, you know what? That former fertility Detroit. drug, that's what they – that's what – that's what. Uh, remember the outfielder for Manny Ramirez? That's what he was well, using. Golden Tate – uh, was uh, suspended four games at the beginning of the season for PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. Right. Blames fertility drugs. That's these guys. Uh, do, do, Gene, does a thirty-year-old <laughs> football player <laughs> need fertility drugs? I mean, are you? I, I, how many kids does he have? Like I, three I already? Know. Like what? I. It's amazing. These guys go to this excuse. It doesn't matter. They're, his suspension's going to be held up. How about owning up to it, Bob? You're, you're having trouble conceiving, Golden? Yeah. Like, what, what's going on here? I, the, the way the masking agents are now, they shouldn't get caught. So that's on you, bud. Yeah. He yeah. cost himself a lot of money, but boy, it's giant. Are you married, Golden? Do you, do you, yeah. Do you have family? I, 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 are there fertility drugs for men? I mean, like, yeah. it's just more testosterone, right? I mean, isn't I that, think so. isn't I that how you produce sperm? Right. I, I'm, again, I'm not a doctor, Gene, but uh, it's a masking agent. It's because you're using other steroids yeah. and you're yeah. using as yeah. Well, Gene, I for That's one as much as I know about this subject, I for one okay believe that uh, not only should we get that Phil Mary back, right? 
because he played oh. with Seattle at that time, right? Oh, he was the yeah, receiver. That's right. Let's get the Phil Murray back. Let's get home field advantage back, and let's right. get that uh, NFC Championship from 2014 back. Oh man! And let's replay the Super Bowl against yeah. who did they play? Uh, Patriots. Was, was it the Patriots that year? Yeah, yeah. that was the year yeah, where right? they because they, they beat the Broncos, yeah. right? Or wait. Did oh. They, Oh, was that the year? Nah, because I think they beat the Broncos before, but then they lost to the Patriots. The year that they year, beat right? the Packers, then they lost that. That's the Marshawn yeah. Lynch game. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's get some banners taken down from the. Uh, Seattle They're coming Quest out the wall. Yeah. These excuses, just own it. Everyone knows you're. Mm, you're a liar. You're yeah. a liar, Golden. Yeah. I mean, who you who, you make yourself feel better by not lying? Yeah. These, no one's okay. buying it. Yeah. No one's buying it. Fertility drugs. All right, well, speaking of someone who does not need fertility drugs is uh, Adrian Peterson. He's a mess. He's already broke. Former. He's gonna, I, I don't know. How's he going to pay child support? He's got child support for a long, long time. He's got seven kids, right? Former Minnesota Viking Adrian Peterson. Well, some bad news coming out of uh, Adrian surprise. Peterson's uh, credit report. Uh, Washington running back Adrian Peterson has made about $100 million in salary. So he's, uh, he's set for life, right? Yeah. No problem. Oh, hey, listen, my kids will never have to worry. I can send all my kids to college. Well, I'll <laughs> all just have to coordinate it with the six women that I have and, kids uh, with. And millions more in endorsements during his NFL career. But yeah. he's deep in debt after his lawyer says he's trusted people who ripped him off. That's another thing. These guys always say the same thing about about steroids and, and lawyers. I don't buy either <laughs> of them. You have to know where your money's going. And, and I'm sure... Uh, uh, not yeah. Just because you blow through your fortune doesn't mean you're getting ripped off. The truth behind Adrian Peterson's current financial situation is more than is being reported at this time. Attorney Chase Carlson said in a statement, "Because of ongoing le- legal matters, matters, I'm unable to go into detail." Mm. Sure thing, uh, but I will say this is yet another situation of an athlete trusting the wrong people and being taken advantage of by those who are trusted. Adrian and his family look forward to sharing further details when appropriate. Yeah, yeah. Which, which family? What? Which family? Yeah, yeah. He's got oh, like he's got seven of them. That's right. That's right. And then uh, try, yeah, you you can't. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. You're in the you're what the statement, thirty two years old. The statement he, came hours after the athletic, the athletic reported that Peterson is being sued in Pennsylvania for failing to pay back a five point two million dollar loan. That's another thing. In two separate matters, judges have ordered Peterson to pay uh, $2.4 million to one creditor and 600000 to another creditor. You, if he's you, being paid like one point five by the Redskins right yeah, now. Yeah, but if you're taking out loans in the middle of your career where you're making all that money, that's... That, What's going on here? Uh, what, what the hell are you doing? Well, uh, Gene, how, how many camel rides is I know. That? I know. That picture, that's going to come back that, to that, haunt that, him. That, that sounds like uh, a 1,000 camel rides yeah. right there. I'll I, I tell you what. How about we uh, simplify this to terms that Adrian Peters can, can understand? Yeah. Uh, Adrian, you can either uh, ride this camel once a week for the next uh, 10 years, or you can have uh, bank money in your bank account. It's your choice, buddy. And, and it, look at all the, all the, not the wives, just all the, the women, all the baby mamas are thinking, uh-oh, <laughs> they're, they're, good luck getting money from him. Yep. Yeah, not good. Mm. He, he'll know. be playing. He'll be playing for a while. Well, right? he better hope so. I mean, if he gets cut. He's not making much money anyway, and he, he, if the Reds, yeah. oh my are, God. are there going to be a lot of people uh, rushing to endorse him? He's too? just he's just lucky he's got a job right now. Not lucky, it doesn't matter. He's, he's not going to see any of that. I don't making know. that league minimum. Yeah, right. All right, now uh, some sad news out of Cincinnati. As if uh, any good news is coming out of Cincinnati, uh-huh. but AJ Green mm. had a bit of a uh, tumble in practice, and. Uh, sp- well, it, look, it sounded like he sprained his – well, they're hoping he only sprayed his ankle, but he seems like he tore some ligaments, and he went into an MRI today to see if he would need surgery. I don't know the results of that. He's uh, got six weeks. Isn't get, he? get Adam Schefter on the phone, oh, and he'll okay. uh, report that. Right, right. I know um, they're playing at a crappy field in Dayton well, for some reason, right? Several Bengals staffers were concerned about the service of the field at the University of Dayton's Welcome Stadium. What the hell are they doing which, with training camp? At, which um, they saw as subpar. There yeah. There were mentions of other players sliding on the surface. They and why? Gene, why are they practicing? I, I, By the way, they don't Gene, have their own facility. I don't. We are at Welcome Stadium right now. Oh, we are. Yeah. 
Oh, well, let's, this is let's, Dayton. let's not bury the lead. Yeah. I've been to Dayton, home of the Flyers, yep. and Dan Patrick. Dan Patrick went to University of Dayton. Why are we here? Why Why were they there? Why are we in Dayton? Well, the Hall of Fame games in Canton. They held their first practice of the season in Dayton as part of the league's 100th year celebration. Oh. Since Dayton was the home of the league's first game. Did not know that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what a great way to, uh, you know, reminisce about the uh, history of the NFL. Let's have a uh, July practice, OTA. Right, right. On Dayton they, Field. And why why don't they have field turf or something? What's wrong with that field? Oh, my gosh. Terrible. Bengals. Well, you know, it rained a lot, right, in the Midwest? Oh. Right? Yeah, it rained today, I think. Oh. Yeah, not good. And also, you know what? People are blaming the field and all that stuff, but apparently uh, those in the know yeah. just know that it was uh, – he actually landed on, like, the uh, his defender. And oh, I think okay. that, that was the actual oh, reason that's, why. Yeah, well, you then – there, there you go. You know more than well, I, I mean, you know, with these NFL teams, yeah. you know, with these million-dollar investments and in all these players and all that stuff, you think these people would actually care about the condition of the field. Oh, my God. Right? I mean, like, what's that's going the same on thing. That's the same thing with the Bears at Soldier Field, using the, the turf kits all torn up because they, they let every youth academy go out there and play soccer games. They have but they, games they play cricket? The, yeah, it's, it, the Bears don't own uh, their own field. It's a park. What's, the park district What's the game the with, like, clubs? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Croquet, right? Yeah. The croquet leagues in yeah, Chicago, the Sunday, oh, yeah. Saturday croquet, croquet league. Yeah, yes, absolutely. You know? Yeah. You got, you got those big balls. You know, I, I feel like croquet, Gene, was uh, big in the 80s because my grandma had a croquet set, I remember right? I playing croquet. Right? Yeah, Everyone yeah. in the Midwest had a croquet set. It croquet was like, and badminton, yeah. you think? Yep. Yeah. Very, very, yeah, very white sports, right? Oh, my gosh. You, know, you, don't, you don't go, so you don't go to both. Ba- no one's playing croquet in Baltimore, Gene. I'll yeah. tell you that one. Well, it's amazing that, that uh, the Bears play for the Park District and the Bengals are almost as big as me. Well, yeah. Yeah. At least the Bears are good, hopefully. All right. And then uh, another story out of uh, the Midwest mm. uh, sports scene. Andrew Luck. I like him. I hope uh, they win the World Super Bowl, maybe, uh, if from the AFC. If the Packers can't win or the Bears can't win or the Vikings, maybe the Colts. Mm, All right, there you sure. go. That's uh, that's a hot take right there. Well, I don't know. I might put some other. Gene doesn't mince front. words. Oh no, I want Cleveland to win before the Colts. Cleveland, hey, Cleveland, Cleveland to Cleveland's going to be a uh, I really want good Cl- team. I want. I bet Cleveland. they'll. I bet they'll win the. Uh, uh, what is it? AFC North. Yeah. I, I'm all, uh, with, yeah, that's, I take Beckham. it all back. I want Cleveland to win the Super Bowl. Well, yeah. the uh, the Colts are treating. <clears throat> Andrew Luck with kid gloves mm. currently right now because he has a calf in- injury. And oh. it's all due to uh, Kevin Durant. What? Tearing his ACL or MCL or whatever he tore. Um, and when asked about this, uh, Reich, was it Rich Reich? Is that or Steve yeah. Reich? What's yeah. No, uh, Frank. Frank Reich, right. Yeah, their coach. Yeah, I, Frank was, Reich. I was certainly thinking about it, Reich said, after the team's first training camp practice. I didn't have that conversation with GM Chris Ballard or any of our trainers, but that's this business. When you see something like that happen, you're like, oh, yeah, that's why you do what you're doing. Oh, it was kind of an unspoken truth. That's why we're being cautious. He was. What was he doing? What? Andrew Luck. They were they were giving him some time for his calf to uh, rest up. Yeah. And then they uh, because Kevin Durant had this kind of a similar oh, injury. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Okay. Good one, Colts. Yep. We need you. And uh, well, but hey, Andrew. Oh, this is for you, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Andrew, Chris, he's trying to do you a favor right now. Hey, Andrew. Well, okay. Frank. Andrew and Frank. Yeah. Hey. hey listen up. This is for Stop. your own benefit. Stop being pussies. Mm-hmm. All right? Play the game. I don't think play, pe- People pay you money to play the game, right? See, uh, not a great message. You. Oh, I'm not. Okay. Not a great message. Why, why don't they get Golden State's doctor? They should check him out, huh? Yeah. I, I'm sure he could clear him pretty well, okay. pretty quick. Well, that's the message I thought you were going to deliver. Nice, all nice and quick. No no fuss, no muss. All right. Well, there you go. Except for the knee surgery you need afterwards. Right. All right. Yeah. All right, and then, Gene, we're going to end it with the uh, the worst day of the week. All right. I'm going to predict. Let me see what happened. Illinois is always way up there. Uh, I'll say Michigan. Well, how did. about, how, how about I'll, I'll give you a hint. This is a uh, a softball coach. Oh, softball coach. Okay. From uh, B- Bemidji Bemidji uh, State University. Do you know where that is, Gene? But I'm going to say that's in uh, either Michigan, Ohio, or Nebraska. 
Well, you're wrong. Okay, I'll go Minnesota. B E, you're correct. It is Minnesota. There you go. See B E M I D J I Bemidji. Have you ever heard of that school? I have not. What town's do, it in? Do you know what? I hell if I know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Bemichi yeah. State University. You know what? I should actually check that out. It's probably Mankato or something like yeah. that. No, it's probably yeah. somewhere on the uh, west side. Um, let me just uh, Google that really quick. Please and then hold on. They, Bemichi State. So, so it was can, a uh, right. Oh, oh, yeah. Michigan's a great state. Well, just watch out. Here's the thing, uh, though, about Michigan. Uh, the Hawkeyes are coming October fifth. So. You better rack up, rack up some wins before, before October fifth because uh, that could be a tough one. Bemidji is for in the, be, the big house. Bemidji people. is in Bemidji, uh, Michigan. Michigan. Yep. Bem- so was, er, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Bemidji. <laughs> Bemidji. Oh. Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. I'm trying to find mm. the map here. Okay. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of central. I've probably been there. So okay. It's kind of central, uh, central north. That's a little bit by Fargo, a little bit. It seems like it's like maybe four hours. I've never from Fargo. been. Fargo's on my list, bucket list. Yeah, that would be bit, cool to go to Fargo. A bit I've never much. been to North Dakota, but I've been to South Dakota, home of the Corn Palace. Fantastic. Looks like it's uh, between Grand Forks and Duluth, like exactly in oh, the middle. Okay. It's one of those crazy, like north, uh, northern. Well, it's probably who even knew of, there was a school called that, or who even yep. knew they had a softball team? Well, we know now. Okay. Because the softball coach uh, has been dismissed from the program after being placed on leave of absence earlier this year. Mm. The reason? Why? Inappropriate text messages to his uh, to his uh, teams to his team, mm. his players. In, w- in one message, he texts the player, "I want to make love to you in the mornings." Oh no! Just wondering if you would be into it. Wow. Good way to start the day off. How are these guys? Oh, that's so you, Do you think weird. Joe Madden uh, texts no, that to Madden, uh, Quintana he, in the morning? <laughs> well, the way the way he's been handling the bullpen, maybe he's been uh, maybe he's been. Hey, maybe he needs. Maybe Quintana needs that, right? Wow. Several messages later, he confessed, "I honestly can't hide the fact that I adore you any longer." What? Uh, How the, did he the, think this was going to work out in his favor? Well, especially when you have receipts, read receipts. Yeah, S- yeah. Sapinski. Sapinski is his name. Okay. His recent behavior was reportedly not out of the blue. Wow. The 50-year-old was placed on a season-long paid leave back in 2014 for what players on that team said was similarly inappropriate behavior. Uh, the administration never told of the team nor the press why Sapinski was placed on leave five years ago, and he returned to coach the team in 2015 all the way until March of this year. Despite players meeting with the athletic director, Tracy Dill, in the spring of 2018 to detail more aggressive and offensive behavior, behavior from Supinski. Mm. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot less of this now because I think these uh, admins are starting to realize, ah, yeah, we can't just like sweep this stuff under the rug anymore. Yeah. We have to uh, handle this. So well, That's terrible. So, and there, a blight on the, the great reputation yeah. of Bemidji University yeah. or college. Yeah, I mean, they, they may have uh, trouble uh, hitting their enrollment numbers this yeah. year. Minnesota is a beautiful state, but not this week. Yeah. Hey, I, I, g- welcome to the club because Iowa got it last week. So yep. it's good to have you. Well, aboard. It's unfortunate, but uh, you know sometimes you need to f- feel a little pain. No matter how bad things are in to, Minnesota, uh, you, always, you always have uh, Ham's beer. So that's something you can. Yep. There you go. Well, Jane, it feels like we just started the show. Yeah, like two seconds ago, but uh, we're already uh, we're almost at forty minutes here, and well, I think we've gone through quite a lot of topics. Yeah, and and you know what? Uh, yeah, it's great football starting. I'm gonna go opening night. Hopefully, Bears at Packers, and I don't want to pay four hundred dollars. No, ticket p- tickets are cheapest ticket with fees are four hundred still, or a little over four hundred. Yikes! That's where I kind of have to draw the line. But, and, and you bought your plane ticket already? Yeah, no, I'm I'm going. I'm going to be in Chicago that night. I'm I'm going to go. It's see if it's either that or go to Milwaukee. See the Cubs play. But I know I'm going to go to opening night. I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna have faith. Tickets are going to drop to. Uh, I still pay three hundred probably. Yeah. Mm. They should. Uh, I bet I will. Oh, so you're going to pay more than three hundred. I mean? no. Well, there's still. I I'm going to hope 
ticket price had dropped. You know what you should do, Gene, is uh, get a ticket when they're playing uh, the Oakland Raiders yes. or something like that, and then just uh, doctor the uh, ticket stub. Okay. Right. Like that one guy right. that was for the Golden State oh, yeah. Warriors. Oh, yeah, for the Golden State Warriors. And then, uh, yeah, just set the 50-yard line. I'm yeah. sure uh, I'm sure no go. one will be uh, sitting there in your spot. Yeah. If you have no problem. Mm. All right, so uh, we got a lot to look forward to. Oh, uh, and then uh, a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Did you see that? I, I'm seeing it tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm okay. going at 11 in the morning. 70-millimeter film at the Cinerama it's already, Dome. It's already fantastic. You already know it's fantastic? Oh, it's fantastic. I can't wait to see it again. I'm already planning on seeing it twice, for sure, just to get just to get a feel for it, and then I'll see it again. It is nice to uh, have Quentin Tarantino making, you know, some of these, oh like, God. famous filmmakers. It takes them, like, 10 years in between films. Right. So it's nice to see uh, Quentin Tarantino Yeah, he uh, took a, there was a stuff. lull there for a while, but hopefully he's back on. He's got, he, he this is his ninth movie, and he always said he was going to do 10 and then retire. So please don't do uh, that. <sighs> yeah, right. Yeah. But anyway, Cinerama Dome is in the movie, and also, oh, is okay, it? yeah, they, they they put up, uh, f- yeah, they they show it, but with a movie from the '60s. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun movie if you oh uh, like Los Angeles. Yeah, right? yeah, it was, it's a homage. It was well, it's an homage. Right? It's not really a, a a a postcard because it ends up with people getting murdered. Yeah, it was the uh, Hollywood Land <coughs> killings, right, or something like that, or the um. No, that was the Manson. This it was, was the Manson, Manson. right? Because it's yep. Sharon Tate and yep. all these other guys, right? The LaBiancas got murdered uh, on August, I think, 9th, and the couple in their house. And then the next night, Sharon Tate, who went out to dinner with her friends to El Coyote, yep. which is, uh, which right is down, the block, yeah, down the block. Yeah, I, I used to go there all Ter- the time. Really bad food, by the way. Yeah. Pretty bad. That's kind Not of their good. charm. <laughs> and then they went out there, her and her yeah, three the, friends. The charm is that you could get better Mexican food at the taco truck across the street yeah. than the uh, but, sit-down restaurant. Uh, maybe that's why uh, Roman Polanski wasn't there. He he fled the, yeah, he, 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 the country. Yeah, he was raping a uh, thirteen-year-old, oh, so uh, he had he had other things. But to do. they went there that night, and then they went home, and that's when does, does they, uh, Brad Pitt or uh, Leo no. do they play Polanski? No, they're or they're, else? they're they're uh, one, one's a stuntman, and the other guy's his buddy. No, although Margot Robbie is Sharon Tate. I believe right. that's all. It's not about the Manson murder. It's about that time or that night, but or something. I don't is know. Is Manson in the movie? movie? Is someone play Manson? Probably. He's dead, right? Manson. Yeah, he died this year. Oh, right. he's gonna miss. He because right when he got convicted, they overturned the death penalty. So he 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 died in prison. He lived a long, quite a life. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, nineteen sixty nine. Yeah, fifty years ago. Yep. All right. Well, Gene, we will. Uh, oh yeah. We'll have I, your review next I, week. It doesn't matter. I already love it. I love it. I love everything. Tarantino. It's gonna be like three and a half hours, right? Oh, it's two and a half hours. Last uh, Pulp Fiction is the last time I saw a movie four times in the theater. Oh yeah. And I wow. believe this one could. Uh, we might be onto something here. I'll tell you what, I did not like the Django. That was the last uh, Django. No, it, Django that, and that that was too. Last one was Hateful Eight. Yeah, Hateful Eight. I did not right. see that one. So I should, that uh, one, that one was long. But he did it different versions. I saw it the one he made, uh, seventy millimeter with the intermission, the whole deal. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. And he was doing westerns for a while, huh? Yeah, he did Django and then uh, Hateful Eight. Like right and roll. Are they like kind of like trend? Uh, tangentially related, kind of like how Reservoir Dogs is kind of uh, yeah. tangentially in the same universe as Pulp Fiction. Yeah, Do you know, somewhat, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Oh, and also Kurt Russell's in this, who's so awesome. Oh, okay. I don't know right, who he plays. I have no idea. All right. Well, we have that to look That's, forward that to. That was my spoiler alert. That uh, he's playing Manson. Oh, I don't right. think there. I don't know. He's. I'm gonna guess he's playing a detective. I have no idea who he's playing. But I love it already. All right. Well, Jim, I'm sure you'll uh, figure that right out for next week, right? Yeah. Yeah. See how it is. All right. So we're going to end it right there. Oh, and uh, I predict one more thing. All right. Go ahead. Oh, and, and thank you, Jack. And uh, I'm expecting, other than the Iowa game, I want Michigan to uh, win the national title. If you can do that and still lose to Iowa, it would be perfect. Because enough with Ohio State. And then uh, uh, Cheryl and Lydia, thank you. And then uh, – Oh, what were you saying? Oh, I have a prediction. N- last week, I I didn't feel good about the Cubs. Next Monday, when I'm here, I bet the Cubs will be in first place. All right. Well, I, I, I yes, I said that. Sure, they play the Cardinals and the Brewers, but <laughs> we're not. <laughs> yeah, two pushovers, right? Well, 
I think all that we we can't keep losing games like we have. It's got to turn around eventually. And you guys had the e- easiest game since in the beginning of the season, right? Now you're gonna yeah. have uh, some real division opponents. I so. think we got 41 straight against division. Or something Yikes! Like that. Something crazy. Yep. All right. So uh, yeah. look forward to that next week. And uh, yeah, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy yeah. the sports. Oh, football's coming up very quick. Very yep. quick. Yep. Let's go. It is. It is. College. All right. So for Gene Steigen, my name is Chris Dots. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. It's been a pleasure. See you guys next week. Bye.